speaking of this exciting card, <laughs> speaking of cardio, we've got Brendan, the hybrid shop. He's eight and two versus Ben. Big Ben. Is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Woo! Gong. Like Big Ben Rothlisberger. Uh, Rothwell. He's thirty-one and eight. Is that the one that you rape chicks and you get away with it, but you get suspended? See, it went back to rape. I wasn't there. I have no. Idea. I don't know what he did or didn't do, but all I heard was a plunger it was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Found, recovered somewhere else. I've seen a saw. Shab, eighty-eight percent by KO. Rothwell, fifty-five percent by KO. Thirty-five percent by submission. The odds from Bet DSI. Rothwell plus one ninety. Shab at minus two fifty. Let me say this. We all know that Bisbing is the number one most caught fighter in the UFC. Shab is the number two. I don't think anybody can disagree with that. Maybe, maybe not. I'm throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. uh, this fight is another curious matchup for me when I look at Shab and who he's fought. He pretty much hand-selected his opponents in, in what was it, Krokop, Krokop. Gonzaga, and I think he even took Big Nog, but that one didn't work out so well for him. Nope. <laughs> and then we it's see. Funny you mentioned that fight. I'm going to bring that up in <laughs> my. Good, good. And then we see Rothwell, who you know he had a, a torrid round against Gilbert Evil. Evil. He won like, that fight though. He did. It was a one awesome round followed by two shitty rounds. <laughs> he, he almost died because from exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yes. Uh, and his that was cardio, in Colorado, wasn't it? In it doesn't fairness. even matter. It so fucking, he's got like cardio. I think it was. Hold on. No, he's got cardio oh, and chin for one round. So the last fight. Whatever Shab wants to do, Shab will do. And I think it's basically being conditioned and a superior athlete is what's going to take him with a win. And I'm going to take him with a second round KO because he'll be gassed out by then, and it'll be nighty night. Oh, the the odd thing though, the weird stat is. I gotta look down for this for a second. Rothwell has gone loss, win, loss, win, loss. Just saying, <laughs> he's he's trending for a win right now, but I'm not buying it. And to build Go on ahead. that, were you gonna say the no. second part? No. Okay. Schaub has gone four wins, loss, four wins, loss. So they're both due for a win. So what does that say? That uh, the most coddled, second most coddled <laughs> fighter in the UFC should get his win. Okay. You think so? Via yes, second round do. TKO? I'm going to go straight up KO. Okay. And Rothwell's going to be a tough motherfucker to knock out. That's Dude, the guy's got sure. a freaking rock for a head. What was that fight I remember him seeing where he was just getting blasted? Was that Cain Velasquez? Cain did it, like, but Cain dropped, uh, took care of him in the second round then. Yeah, but in the first round, they probably he took got a lot of punishment. A couple times. He just, it didn't get stopped <laughs> by the think, knockout. The ref was like, dude, stop hitting the man in the face already. <laughs> but know? I think after three punches, he knocked his cardio right the fuck out. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Anyways. Um, I think, I think you know, I've, I've made, obviously, we're, we're, we're joking here, whatever. I've made a lot of fun of Big Ben, too, and about his cardio in the past. I feel like he's getting discounted in this fight, and he's get. He, I I think that Schaub is looking at this as like, hey, here's a guy who's got no cardio, really doesn't have many weapons that I need to be afraid mm -hmm. of, so I can easily beat this guy. But the truth is, is that you know Brothwell is a pretty good ground fighter. I think he he's got a bunch. He's got a bunch of submission wins. He's got knockouts. He's tough. He can take it. The only problem he's had in the past is his cardio. Yeah, well, his cardio was so bad that Hunt was giving him a run for his money on the ground. <laughs> yes, so true. Hunt is no ground wizard. I'll well, say that. I mean, hopefully he's fixed this problem, and I don't know, you know what he's doing. I saw photos of him online in the last few weeks, and he looked pretty ripped. So I don't know if that was means... Was on a Roy Nelson program? Maybe. <laughs> was he <laughs> growing the epic beard uh, via he's, mold? He's a local guy from Milwaukee area, trains out of Duke Rufus's gym. Oh, uh, so I gotta fan. say, I think I think for me that Schaub, um is a skilled fighter. Yet I think he's gonna overlook Ben in this fight, and I feel like after the first round of put, trying to put a beating on this guy, and the guy's still standing there, I think Schaub's gonna get knocked out in the second round because Oof. because B Big Ben is 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 seriously tough, and he's got the power to do it, 
And, you know, we know Brendan can get knocked out. We've seen it happen a few times. And I think the second round will play out a lot like the first round of the Noguera fight, where Big Ben just kind of grinds him against the cage. And, you know, Schaub's not good against the cage, and, and he's going to get TKO'd in the second round early. That is my prediction. We'll see. We'll see who that gas is. It's a battle of cardios. It, it sure as shit is. They're at, they're at sea level, though, at uh, Atlanta, Georgia, aren't they? Oh, well, Brendan There's trains at elevated altitude. altitude. At a t- here we go again. Oh, no. Attitude with an altitude? What is it? Altitude. I don't know. It's a fucking NBA jam thing. Brennan Shaw. Magic.